here at the SID Display Week with Gamma Scientific. And who are you? I'm Richard Austin. I'm President and Chief Technology Officer. So what are we looking at here? This is a near-eye display measurement system that we made that's used for measuring augmented reality glasses like it's being measured here, as well as the virtual reality goggle set on the uh, far side over there, the gear uh, VR from uh, Oculus. So uh, is it uh, measuring the, the quality of the displays? Yes, it can map the luminance uniformity as well as the color uniformity and uh, has unique features in that it uh, can look at very small areas of the virtual image of the display. So we have six different spot sizes that we can make spectroreometric measurements on and it goes from five degrees down to a tenth of a degree in uh, two degree, one degree, half degree, third degree, and then tenth degree are the five sizes that we have. And uh, you show the results uh, here on the screen? Yeah, on the screen here we have, this is an internal 8.9 megapixel camera image that we also can do image quality analysis in terms of MTF, depth of contrast, as well as expand the uniformity of the spectroradiometric measurement that we make in the center. This is about a one degree aperture. It's a seven by seven degree field of view. And we have the spectroradiometric data showing here the, the light measurement that we've made right there. And now we're looking at the far wall and the robot's moving over to look at the VR goggles now. So the focus is close to infinity. The other key feature is that we have a five millimeter entrance pupil right here that is about the size of the human eye. And so we can pick the rotation point to be either at the front, at the entrance pupil to the spectroradiometer that feeds light through this fiber optic probe to our laboratory grade spectroradiometer, or we can pick a vantage point that's 13 millimeters behind the entrance pupil so that the entrance pupil of our spectroradiometer rotates like the eyeball rotates the entrance pupil of the human eye relative to the virtual image of the display coming out of the, the VR or AR glasses. And you have a big com uh, computer in there processing everything? Yeah, yeah, we have a high-end computer, rack mount computer, and then the spectroradiometer is right below it, which is the, the GS-1290. Uh, oh, there is below. 1290. There's there. That's, oh, there. yeah. There's the spectroradiometer, so that's and your, that's the computer, and then that's your hardware? On, the, on the very bottom there is the uh, robot controller. So has your company have been doing this for a while, these kinds of things? We've been producing the robots for about uh, 10 years to measure flat panel displays and have uh, deployed it for very low light level measurement applications for uh, night vision goggle compatibility of cockpit displays. And so what we've done is reduce the size of this telescopic head that we make so that it easily fits between the earpieces of AR goggles and can rotate and look in different areas of the field of view displayed by the AR or VR glasses. Is this a Japanese uh, yeah. arm? Yeah, this is a low cost, uh, six axis, very precise pointing direction uh, industrial robot. And we've been using these for over 10 years in our light measurement products. And uh, do you have many customers, all the industries using your, your to measure and their displays and their products? Or? Well, this, this is a new invention. We have a patent pending on this. And the uh, uh, industry leaders are, are very interested in this product. So we've got very positive results from uh, our first introduction of this, uh, this product in the iZone. What do you think about the SID Display Week? This uh, it's conference? been good and exhausting. Right, cool. This is the last last, last day. Last question? Okay.